Number 48. Energy that is not utilized for work or heat transfer is converted to the chemical energy of body fat containing about 39 kilojoules per gram. How many grams of fat will you gain if you eat 10,000 kilojoules or about 2,500 kilocalories one day and do nothing but sit relaxed for 16 hours and sleep for another eight hours? All right. So uh, let's just devise a simple model to explain what's going on. All right, so this is basically the mechanics of metabolism. Very simple. So we have energy, energy in, okay? And now what will happen is there will be energy out, okay? So the energy that you consume by way of eating will then get converted into some, uh, let's say you'll metabolize that particular energy and that'll be uh, able to be used for useful work. Okay, so we'll call that then energy, energy out. Okay. The other uh, avenue that energy in can turn into is going to be stored, stored energy. Okay, And this is in terms of fat. So these are the two fates of when you consume some type of food. Either you're going to burn it off right, and metabolize it to do some useful work out, whether it is just to keep yourself alive or whether it's to run a marathon or lift some weights. And if you consumed an excess amount of energy over that of which you then expended, guess where it's going to go? Right to those love handles. All right. So that's the that's the mechanics of, of weight gain and therefore weight loss, right? It ain't that complicated. All these diets and all these crazy things out there about weight loss, very simple. Just expend more energy than you consume and you will lose weight. So... We have this model, all right? Now, what we need to do is, uh, the question is being asked, right? How many grams of fat will you gain? So what that is assuming, that's assuming that we're consuming more energy than we're expending, all right? And then the the difference between these two will then get stored as fat, okay? So that's the idea. So uh, why don't we calculate how much energy, if we need to calculate how much energy we're consuming, and then uh, let's calculate how much energy we're expending, Okay, so what does it say that we are consuming or do we need to calculate it? Well, it says that we're eating um, 10,000 kilojoules of energy. Perfect. So that's easy, right? I mean, they gave it to us. So this is 10,000. Oops. This is going to be 10,000 kilojoules of energy, all right? Which would be equivalent to if I wanted to convert that into joules, right? That would be 10 million. 10 million joules. Okay. Now, how do we find out how much energy we are producing? Well, what are we doing during this particular day? We are sitting on our behind for 16 hours and we are then sleeping for eight hours. All right, so if we use the table over here on the right, we have to find, right, how much energy we are consuming um, per time, right? Meaning the watts, the power for sleeping. And here's sleeping. It, uh, it has a value of 83 watts. All right, and then sitting at rest, it says right here, is 120 watts. So if I'm thinking about the formula for power, and I'm trying to relate that to right uh, energy and time and all that, or useful work, however you want to define it, I can use this particular formula over here on the right. So this says that the power is equal to the work performed divided by the time. So the power for sleeping is 83 watts. Okay, And what's the work done while you're sleeping. Well, guess what? That's what we're looking to find. Okay, we're trying to find the energy out. All right, remember work is energy. And now the time, how long are you doing that sleeping activity for? Well, it tells us eight hours, right, in the problem. But the thing is, you cannot plug in eight hours into here. You need it in terms of seconds. So guess what we have to do? Just a simple conversion. So let's take our eight hours. And remember that for every one hour, there's 3,600 seconds. So we can just take 8, 8, and multiply it by 3,600, and we get a value of 28,800 seconds. So now this value will be the value right, that we're going to look to plug in. So let's do that. So this is 2,800, excuse me, 28,800. And now the wattage here, excuse <laughs> too many W's, right? W's work or watts or whatever. So W here is in terms of work. All right, so let's take our 28,800, multiply it by 83. 
and we get a value now of looks like 2.39 right 2.39 times 10 raised to the looks like 6 times 10 raised to the 6 and that's in terms of joules so this is the energy uh, that you are uh, metabolizing essentially while you are sleeping okay so this is sleep so let's just write that value over here on by energy out okay so this is 2.3 and actually you know what let me let me put this in terms of uh, instead of scientific I'm going to write it out non-scientific so this is 2,390,000 joules okay now let's find out how about while we're just sitting around for 16 hours so same process we got the power is equal to the work over time. The power of just sitting around is 120 watts. So it takes 120 watts just to sit on your uh, behind. All right, so now I'm going to calculate the work. I need to know the time. Well, the time they gave me, they gave me the time in hours again. But guess what I got to do? I got to convert to seconds. It's essentially the same process as we did over here. So what are you going to do to the 16 hours? You're going to simply multiply it by 3,600. So let's just simply do that in one step. So 16 times 3,600. That's going to get us uh, 5.5.79. 5 oh, excuse me, 76. If I can read my calculator, that would be nice. 5.76 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, times 10 to the fourth. And now just do your cross multiplication to find the work done. Okay, so take that value, multiply it by 120, and we now get a value of. I'll put it in scientific, but then I'll reconvert it. So 6.91 times 10 raised to the looks like sixth again. And that, remember, is in terms of joules. So now let me write that value out. How did that happen? Let me write that value out at the top here. So this is now 6,910,000 joules. Now, when we add these two together, what do we get? So let's see. Let's add them together. So we get 2,390,000 and plus 6,910,000. So we get 93 or well, 9.3 million or 9,300,000, right? So here we're going to have 9,300,000 joules. Now that's how much energy that you actually consumed, all right? Or what do I, maybe a better term would be metabolized, okay? So that's the energy you metabolized, but this is the amount of energy you consumed. So what do we say? If you have an excess of energy that you've consumed over the energy that you've metabolized, guess where it's going, ladies and gentlemen? Those love handles. So why don't we now subtract the two so we can find the st stored energy, right? So basically it then would be uh, 10 million joules minus the 9,300,000 joules. And that leaves us with 700,000 joules of energy that is going to be converted into fat. So this is 700,000 joules. Now, what's the question asking? How many grams of fat will you gain? And it says that the chemical energy of body fat, right, is about 39 kilojoules per gram. So remember, I want to find grams of fat, okay? And I know the joules of energy that I have in excess. And I know the relationship between one gram of fat and the amount of kilojoules that that gram contains. So basically what we need to do is remember, I wanna find grams. So I can rewrite this as 39 kilojoules over one gram, or right, I can simply flip it as we've seen in many problems before. I can write it in this fashion. I'm gonna write it this way. Reason being is because I know I wanna end my answer with kilo, uh, excuse me, with grams. So I need grams on the top. So let's write one gram per 39, oops, for 39 kilojoules. Now I realize though, hey, I have my value in joules here, and this is in kilojoules, so what do I have to do? I have to now convert the kilojoules here into joules. All right, so let's place the kilojoules on the top, joules on the bottom, one kilojoule is 1,000 joules. And then notice, I just wanna know grams. I don't wanna know grams per joule. So what do I have to get rid of? I have to get rid of joules, and guess where I'm gonna place my joule value over here? I'm gonna place that now in the numerator. So 700,000 joules, and look what happens. The joules cancel. What are you left with? Grams. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is the answer, meaning all we gotta do is throw it into the calculator. So 700,000 divided by 
39 times 1,000. And what do we get? We get about 7.9, right? Excuse me, 17.9. 17, I'm going to put the answer... Hmm, I'm just going to put the answer... Uh, I'll put it at the bottom right. I was going to put it in the middle, but... 17.9, and that is now in grams. Okay? And that would be the final answer because they wanted it in terms of grams. All right? So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. And always keep this in mind. Don't consume too much energy. Just consume just enough energy. All right? Thank you so much. Take care.